All right, uh, let's look at the homework three, problem number 15. All right, so we want to find this uh, log equation for x. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so it looks like uh, we have a fairly simple expression on the left-hand side of the equation and uh, kind of a complicated expression on the right-hand right side of the equation. So let's try to simplify the right-hand side as much possible and uh, see how it goes. All right, so first thing we can do is uh, we, if we have a number uh, in front of the log, right, remember that uh, we can place it as a power up here. All right, so same with this guy. So we can place it as a power up here. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so if you have a log to the base B here, and also uh, 25, um, I should do that here. Uh, 25 is the same thing as um, 5 squared, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and write 5 squared here, all right? Then we can raise this to, remember that we can put 1 half power, so 1 half power, all right? And the next term, you have a log to the base b. All right, 64. All right, so what's 64? All right, so if you want uh, 64 uh, broken down, uh, so 64 is an even number divided by 2, so it's a 32, and it's still even divided by 2, so that's a 16, and it's still even uh, 2, so that would be 8. And 8 is 2, even 2, 4. And 4 is 2 times 2. All right. So it looks like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 sum multiplied together. So it's I can write it as a 2 to the 6th power. All right. And then we put the 2 thirds power. So raise it to the uh, 2 thirds power. All right. And for now, uh, we can, I, I guess we can probably break it down uh, 20. So if you have 20, and it's uh, even, so 2, so it's 10. 10 is still even, so we can pull out 2, so then 5. So it's a 2 squared times 5. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put that in here instead of 20. All right. So it's a 2 squared times 5. All right, so we can do that. All right, then we can do a little bit of a simplification here. So we have, um, so when you raise it to the uh, exponent to the power, we can just multiply these powers together. So 2 times 1 half, so 2 and 2 cancel out. So this is actually just 5, 5 to the first power. And here uh, is uh, pretty similar. So 3 and 6 cancel out, so you're going to have another 2 there. So it's a 2 times 2, so it's a 2 to the 4th power. All right, so here. So we're going to get, the, I'm going to just uh, clean it up first. So you're going to get the log to the base b of 5 plus log to the base b of 2 to the 4th power, because it's a 2 times 2, minus log to the base b of 2 squared times 5. All right, then we're going to use another log property. If you have addition outside, we can consolidate it as a one log, single log, and uh, multiply these numbers together. If you have a subtraction outside, we can write it as a single log with division. So we can uh, do it this way. So you have a single log, log to the base b, right? So we have to multiply 5, since it's an addition, times uh, 2 to the 4th power, right? But here's a subtraction, so we would have to divide it by uh, 2 to 2 squared times 5 here. All right, then we can uh, do some cancellation, uh, 5 on top. And the 5 on the bottom, cancel out. And you have a 2 square on the bottom and 2 to the 4th, so we can reduce it to a second power. Right? So therefore, uh, we end up getting uh, 
log to the base b of uh, 2 squared. So I'm going to just write 4. All right. So we have a chain of equalities, and you can see that the log to the base b of x, so we are interested in uh, this guy, right, is equal to log to the base b of 4. So x must be 4. All right. So let's uh, uh, type it in. All right. So x is going to be equal to 4. All right. Check the answer. All right. Got that. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.